Hi everyone. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick little upload. Oh, so does my hair. Okay. Anyways, I want to do a quick upload um, on the question of insulin resistance. Some people are really confused as to what it is and if they even are insulin resistant. So um, you can have symptoms um, with for insulin resistance and you can get this tested because what happens is it's all based on your glucose. So it's when your glucose builds up and it's it's not absorbed by the cells that makes you insulin resistant. So glucose again is the amount of you know how you metabolize glucose, which is carbohydrates, essentially, because that's you know that's the fuel um, and even some protein. If you eat too much protein, that also can become glucose because your body can only um, digest and, and and you know your cells can only absorb so much protein. Even protein itself can turn into into glucose. So that is why you need to know if you're insulin resistant, so you can control the glycemic index. Um, like, you know, the, the in, insulin spikes uh, through food, if you control it, um, you can manage your insulin resistance and be able to, um, uh, you know, minimize those effects. So why insulin resistance issue is important besides or beyond the issue of weight, it actually is a contributor towards diabetes. So people who become diabetic too have insulin resistance or insulin levels that are through the roof and that is because they cannot metabolize that and that is why pcos sufferers are at, are at higher risk with insulin resistance for obtaining or, or having um eventually having um diabetes or being pre-diabetic so when i speak about insulin it's a serious matter so when i speak about diet the reason i said it really doesn't matter if you if you're as long as you're managing it more importantly, you need to know where you sit on the scale. You can have, like I said, you can have PCOS and not be insulin resistant. And you can have PCOS and be insulin resistant. And that has a host of different ways to tackle it versus being non-insulin resistant. And that has a host of different way of tackling things. So with the food situation, you need to, let's say, I always say, and, and you know, my recommend to people, take my own acetyl that you know, converts the glucose into energy. It's something that also assists with stabilizing. It works similar to metformin, but it's a natural approach to it. I've been using it, it's been great. I've actually stopped using it since I've been on ketogenic because I'm not taking in um, a lot of glucose, a lot of carbohydrates. If I do even, it's whatever I, I let it be. Um, but uh, again, depending on your diet, so if you're taking if you want, if you're vegetarian, uh, the truth of the matter is a lot of foods um, as a vegetarian uh, are difficult to um, navigate away from high glucose foods. Um, I could be wrong. There could be something out there that as a vegetarian you can do. That's fantastic. But you don't have to stop being a vegetarian or vegan. You can, again, control your insulin levels through the amount of food you're eating, the type of food you're eating as a vegetarian or a vegan, and, and so forth. I just... Uh, my body, I've tried it. It just does not work for me. Um, you know, uh, I'm more comfortable where I am. I, I, I'm at now with the ketogenic attempt here. Uh, so that's you know, uh, for me because I find my I'm more stable with my moods. I have stable energy. I don't have the crashes. Um, I have the cravings, but that's alleviated with you know I'll have if I need to have if I feel like I need chocolate or something. I can make, make a fat bomb from cacao, or I can, if I want a high carb intake, at that moment, I'll have a date, and that satisfies me. So again, it all depends on you, your, your, your needs, and so forth. So insulin, insulin, insulin. Know where you sit on the paradigm, because that is the key in understanding how you're functioning. If you don't know if you are insulin resistant, go get a blood test done, a glucose blood test done, to see if you have any traces of being pre-diabetic or diabetic. And that will give you, a, give you a gauge as to what's going on. If you're insulin resistant, you most likely know you are with the symptoms. And I would say Google it, get some information, but also see a health practitioner, a naturopath, whoever you, you can go and see and get you know um, some readings done if you're not sure where you are on that you know, level. So with the insulin resistant, that in it itself, um, you need to control. 
number one thing to control. Then you have the supplementation and so forth that, you know, it, it, um, it nourishes in a different way your system. But right now, the diet is fundamental in terms of how your insulin levels are being managed because it affects your mood and also affects, um, you know, uh, in some ways, your menstruations and, and, and so forth. The reason I say some ways is because I was still insulin resistant and became regular, and that was through supplementation, you know, uh, relaxation through eating clean and so forth. And didn't matter what diet was, what diet, you know, I was on. So, um, again, it's a dance, everyone's different, but you need to explore authentically what your, um, what your avenue will be. But again, follow your insulin issue. If you don't have an insulin issue, you can discard this video in that sense, because it's not going to affect you. Your cells are absorbing the glucose properly, metabolizing it properly, and you will not have that constant hitting yourself against the wall um, in terms of issues related to weight gain, issues related to just overall aspects to insulin resistance that myself and others have, if you are. So any questions or comments, let me know. I hope this clarified the issue around or the, the knowledge around what that means because you can't ignore it i'm going to be very honest you cannot ignore the insulin piece the insulin piece is going to either break you or save you so if you have that knowledge then you can control it and that is empowering so please do not ignore it and for people who do not want to go the natural route metformin is there so i have never used it i'm i'm more into the natural ways of healing that's me there's people who are in need of something immediately, I would then recommend metformin. Um, there's other um, avenues as well that you can, you know, explore, but um, that's just, you know, one recommendation. Okay, wishing you guys all the best, and I'll be in touch soon. All right, take care. Bye.